Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. I'm so excited to be bringing you this video today as part of our collaboration hop with Gina K Designs. So are you ready? Let's glow. I'm gonna show you how to make this pretty little clean and simple Christmas card. I know at the holidays we're always looking for ideas or designs that are easy to mass produce and don't take a lot of time, but still have something that is a bit of a wow factor. These cards with the lights behind the, the stars really do that, and it doesn't take long at all. So let's show you how I did this. I'm starting with the Holiday Trees uh, stamp set here. This was illustrated by Beth Seleka, and I'm excited because she's hopping along with us today. Um, in addition, I'm going to need a stamp that says push and one that says pull. So I've got this interactively yours stamp set um, that I carry in the shop. I'm going to light up some star shaped gems with our easy lights. And I, I have those in the shop too. For our card, I've got a white um, card front. I've got a teal card front and then I've got a white card base. I've also got a 5 8 inch strip of cardstock here and I'm going to grab some of my Gina K inks. I've got Tranquil Teal, Sea Glass, and Key Lime. You can change up the colors. Uh, you're just going to want a dark and two light colors and then you're going to want to make sure that you have a cardstock that matches your dark color. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our stamping. I'm lining everything up in my Misty. I'm going to start with my largest tree, and you can see I've got one of my creative corners in my mini Misty here, and I'm just going to use that to make sure I get my first tree lined up in the center. You're going to see me push down really hard, kind of all over the place on that tree to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles between the stamp and the, the lid of the Misty. If you have an air bubble on a solid stamp like this, it, it'll give you uneven coverage. So um, I'm, I'm careful to make sure I don't have any. And then I went ahead and I stamped it twice here to get nice even coverage. And that's with my Tranquil Teal ink there. So um, my dark color is in the center. I'm going to go ahead and mask it off. And then I can um, line up the uh, creative corner there again. I'm just using that as a T-square so that I can get my other trees um, across on the same line there. My my horizon or my ground will be the same line. Now you'll notice the tree on the left is sticking down more. Um, I want to mask off the, the trunk of that tree. If I stamped that tree at its actual height, then I would have two stars that are basically the same height. And I wanted the stars to kind of go up and down as they move across. Um, so I'm just going to mask off the trunk of, of the tree that will be stamped on the left. So I have three different heights for my stars there. And so I've got just another little piece of masking uh, tape there in place. And I'll get my other mask on my center tree there in place. Then I can go ahead and I'm using the Key Lime and Tranquil Teal, or I'm sorry, uh, Key Lime and Sea Glass for my two other trees and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this probably I think three or four times mostly because I do have uh, the masks there and if you've ever stamped over a masked edge sometimes it can be tricky to get full coverage it's not usually a big deal if you're just working with line stamps but when you've got a solid stamp like this those edges will sometimes um, need a, a few extra pushes with the uh, the stamp or inked up a couple times just so you can get right up to the edges uh, nice crisp lines lines there and you can see when I pull away the masks I've got good coverage and now I'm gonna bring in my sentiment the first part of the sentiment it's gonna say Mary and then I'm also gonna grab the small open triangle and I'll go ahead and line it up on the left side first. And once I pick that up, I want to um, make sure they're straight, obviously. But I'll pick that up and then I'll mask off the tree on the left. If you're going to mass produce these, obviously you'd be stamping um, in kind of assembly line. So you would stamp multiple panels at the same time. So 
it's not going to take you a ton of time to do this because half the time that you you spend is lining up the stamps anyhow so might as well make several panels at the same time um, so I've gone ahead and stamped it again with my tranquil teal the dark color there and then I can move it over to the other side obviously I cleaned it off and then I want to mask my tree on the right as well and I also swapped the sentiment for my sub sentiment that says and bright I thought that was fun merry and bright for a light up card right um, so I'll go ahead and stamp that again when you have word stamps make sure that you're applying light pressure you don't want to push too hard and then kind of blow out the sides of your words so it's better to stamp it twice if you need to um, and just use light pressure now I've gone ahead and I've switched my stamp over to the little push here stamp um, again I have that in my shop I'm not sure that Gina has a stamp set like that but uh, for our lights we're gonna want to indicate where to push and then remember that 5 8 inch strip that I had I'm gonna line up the stamp that says uh, pull me I think it says pull me yeah um, I'm gonna line it up and little stamps sometimes they want to stick to your fingers just as much as they want to stick to anything else so using a pokey tool is nice for that and I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that at the edge of that little strip of paper there and I'll show you what that's for in a minute but once we have our stamping done, it's time for lights. So you can see the, the stamping goes relatively quickly. If you've never seen our easy lights before, they're super simple. They come in multiple packs. You just snap one off and it's ready to use. You can slip in the battery and the little purple button at the end is your switch. You push the button and your three lights will light up. Uh, the lights are on separate wires, so you can kind of move them around, place them anywhere you want on your card cover them up and they're done okay so remember that little uh, tab we just uh, stamped the reason we've got it is to protect the battery so if you slip that tab underneath the battery you can mail it and then when the person receives the card they can pull that tab out and that way you can make sure that the battery didn't get drained because it was pushed in shipping so let's go ahead and start placing our lights I'm just gonna bring in a pokey tool and poke a hole through my card front right above the center three trees and then um, I'm gonna grab some of my strong double stick tape and I'm gonna put it right on top of my easy light you can put it on the back side in fact most times I do but it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna line this up and first I'll pull off the release paper but I want to line it up so that that little purple button is right underneath the words push here and it's hard to tell but I'm holding it up to the light I can actually see through the cardstock there and see where I had stamped the words and you can see when I flip it over if I push on it all three of my lights light up so now we can just position them in the little holes that we poked and the, the lights do have like a top and a bottom. So the yellow dot is the top of the light and you'll wanna push the top of the light into the hole and it actually just fits right in there. Um, it's easy to tell the backside, the backside has the, the little red and blue wires. Um, and honestly, if you put it in there upside down, it's not a big deal because the whole thing pretty much lights up anyhow. So you can see I just pushed each one into the hole into that the little well that the um, the pokey tool made and then taped it down I'm using regular scotch tape and I'll coil up the extra wire and cover that as well just tape it down as well and our lights are done <laughs> that was really hard right <laughs> no it's easy that's why we call them easy lights so let's go ahead and assemble the card I'm gonna just go ahead and glue my teal card front there to my card base and then before we go too much further I want to slip that little uh, tab underneath the battery so that we can protect it for mailing so I'm just gonna kind of line it up and trim it down um, you can it, it doesn't have to be perfect there uh, my lights are taped down so there's no chance of me accidentally snipping the wires if you don't tape yours down make sure that that you uh, are careful not to snip those 
And then, so I'll just go ahead and get it lined up in there. I can slip the battery back in place and then I'll kind of wiggle it around so that it's sticking out enough to, to read the words, but not sticking out so far that it won't fit in the envelope. Once I've got that in place, we can bring in the double thick foam tape. Um, the, the thickness of the battery pack is equivalent to two layers of foam tape. Um, I carry this double thick foam tape in my shop because it's awesome. <laughs> it's already the right thickness, um, also great for shaker cards, but the release paper is my favorite part. It just comes right off. It, it's, it's awesome. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add the, the foam tape around the card and a little bit in the center for some support. And I'll pull off that release paper and stick it down. And we're almost done, guys. Um, the only thing left to do is add our gems on top. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put some out into a tray. I like trays like this because they have a little pour spout, so it's easy to get them back in when you're done. And I've got my jewel picker and some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. This dries clear, um, and it, it has a, a good grip for gems and plastic things like that. And so I'll just go ahead and glue them right on top, just like if we were gluing on sequins or anything else. And then our card is finished. You want to see how it works? So we'll go ahead and pull out that little tab that says pull me, um, assuming, you know, this has already gone through the mail. And then we can just push the button. Isn't that fun? And it doesn't take much time at all. Again, this is a card that you could mass produce. You don't have to put the lights behind it. Maybe just save the lights for a few special people. But it really is a fun card, I think. So I hope that I've inspired you to give this a try. And I hope that you will hop along with us because we have a lot of really cool cards to share. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell. Uh, you can get more videos like this. After you're done hopping, come on back. I've got a few more videos to share. And I do have links to everything that I've used today down below for you and over on my blog. As always, my friend, thanks for watching.